This date in high desert sports history, <laughs> Granite Hills Amazing Alozi Sisters score and 2012 CIF playoffs. First home field goal in high desert elite history, the year 2019. Baseball rivalries, Victor Valley Jackrabbits, Silverado Hawks, 2011. Barstow College, Victor Valley College, Vikings come from behind, walk-off win in 2018. This day in seasons past begins with Granite Hills, Cassandra and Michelle Alozi goals. The sisters Alozi provided the scoring and Granite Hills girls soccer team held off unranked St. Joseph Santa Maria in opening round CIF action. Senior Cassandra Alozi shredded the net with a laser from 35 yards out to break a 1-1 tie midway through the second half. I, don't know, I just got the ball and everybody was calling for every, but I just saw that open lane and I knew that, I mean, we're tied 1-1 and it's like the first round I knew we had to get on. So I just hit it and you know, far, po far post right in the corner and I was just like, it went in. Younger sister, Michelle, a freshman, put the Lady Cougars on the board at the 28 minute mark of the first half. A simply breathtaking play. The crossover, then with the left leg between a pair of Knights defenders. <laughs> Tell me, how important is it for, especially in CIF postseason, to get that first goal? It's really important because you really need to come out quickly and hard and make sure you shut down the team with that first goal to show them that you're not playing around or that you're serious and you want to win. Fast forward four years to 2015. I'm attending Yale, um, so that's really cool. <laughs> and I just finished my first semester and I just came back. What were some things that you look back at your Granite Hills High School experience and say, these things did help me prepare for my next step, which is now your first year in college? Um, probably definitely the AP classes here. I've heard from a lot of teachers here that we have one of the best AP programs in the high desert. So I took so many AP classes and then going to college and having those classes, the beginning part, it's kind of like the AP like curriculum and stuff like that. And I use like a lot of my AP notes and stuff from high school that helped me in college. So definitely the AP courses here helped me. High Desert Elite shoots for their first home field win the weekend of Cinco de Mayo. Video Sports speaks to elite leaders as they are coming off their first win, a 2-1 to -one victory at ASLA in Downey. Oh, it was huge. Um, we've been knocking on the front door several games as the home team or crowd has seen. We've been really close, but uh, to get that first win was ginormous. Just brought us up to our first win of the season and um, it's just a big impact, just not for me, for the whole team. It motivates us to keep uh, to keep giving uh, our first our first win to to our fans right here at our stadium. I think we're individually great. Uh, all the all the individuals on our team are, are fantastic. But uh, finally, to get that win, I think it brought us together, and uh, I think the the journey has been the greatest part so far. Start time is five o'clock Saturday, May fourth, aiming for a single. Weekend win. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Six of the nine remaining games in the High Desert Elite inaugural year's schedule are home games at Atlanta Stadium. It was a windy and wild Wednesday afternoon in mid-April when the Victor Valley Jackrabbits and Silverado Hawks played their second of three DSL matchups. Pitchers from both sides found it hard to find the plate. Jackrabbit starter Blake Hagee's wild pitch, enabling Henry Domingos to score in the second. Hagee settled in then and struck out the side, enabling the Jackrabbits to hold on to their 3-2 lead early. The home team Jackrabbits followed their three-run first with four more in the second, but had to continue to hold off the stubborn Hawks. Michael Martinez drives home fellow junior Justin Steenerson to open the Rabbits scoring in the second. Steenerson would later homer. Martinez, two for two on the day with a pair of runs scored and three RBIs. Martinez comes home on Daniel Burgum's deep double that bounces off the fence, 
One of two doubles for the 5'11", 160-pound Burgum, who's a Rabbits co-captain. Each run would prove a factor as the Rabbits go on to win 13-11. The two teams collide two days later on the Hawks' home field. Victor Valley is 3-2 in league going in. Silverado, 1-4. This Friday the 13th Barstow College versus Victor Valley Rams confrontation lives up to its rivalry expectations. The Vikings with an extra inning walk-off win three days after the Rams rallied for a walk-off victory in Victorville. Is there in fact a rivalry between these two cross-desert community college teams? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, just uh, with being so close, guys knowing uh, each other on the team and uh, you know, it's just that close town thing. You just want to beat them, so you have that edge up on them. Judah Wilbur sends Mitchell Holtz across with the first run of the ball game. The fly ball to right mishandled. Judah Wilbur winds up at second. The Vikings' leading hitter, a freshman out of Denver, Colorado. Two more runs score on Jamie Solis. Two out base hit up the middle. Lucky Martinez and Judah Wilbur scoring. And the Vikings are out to a three to nothing lead. The Rams tie the score in the second on Mark Kobian's three run home run. Alfred Lopez and Jared Hudson scoring ahead of the Victor Valley freshman out of Cathedral. Score is tied at three, heading into the bottom of the second. The Vikings strike for three more in the second. Lucky Martinez driving in Jay Sebo. Lucky Martinez, the sophomore and former Barstow Aztec. Judah Wilbur finds the alley in right center field. Mitchell Holtz scores three hits on the day for Judah Wilbur, hiking his third best in the conference batting average to 383. At the end of two, Barstow College has mounted a 6-3 lead. Victor Valley College scores the game's next two runs, scoring twice without the benefit of hitting the ball. But speaking of hits, the Rams out-hit the home team Vikings, 14 hits to 11. Manny Sierra at the plate. The Rams catcher lifts the run scoring pop-up into short right. Alfred Lopez crosses the plate and the game is tied at six. The Rams take the lead when Jared Hudson's infield grounder scores Justin Henry. The visitors go on top, seven, six in the seventh. Jared Hudson, the hero of the Rams 10 to nine, come from behind walk-off win three days earlier. The Yucca Valley sophomores three run home run, the game winner. The Vikings tie the score with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Jamie Solis coming through in the clutch. The infield base hit. Judah Wilbur scores. Run driven in number three on the day for the sophomore out of Las Vegas High School. We go to extra innings. The game winning play almost anticlimactic. Bases loaded in the 10th. Tanner Wickham takes one for the team and the win. This date in High Desert Sports History brought to you by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville. The Holiday Inn preferred destination for travelers and visitors to the Victor Valley.